Hi, I'm Monica from Oma's Place. How are you? I thought today I'd like to talk to you about how to make bows using forks. It's not my idea. There are other people out there that have come out with this. And there are videos that you can watch um, on YouTube. But I thought it would be nice to have it available on our site because from time to time we also recommend the use of tiny bows. Here is one example. You may remember this from our Christmas ornaments. There's a teeny little bow at the top. Then also on our one of our pillows that we've just come out with, uh, the bunnies have tiny little bows on them. And they can kind of be tricky to make, don't you think? Sometimes um, they're just hard to get just the right loop size um, and make it look attractive. The fork bow gives you a pretty reliable result and it's fast and easy to make. Um, so let's get started, okay? What you need is satin ribbon and you also need to have a fork. Regular dinner fork is fine. That's what we use for the tiny little bows. And if you want to make a bigger bow like this one, which is made from 5 8 inch um, grosgrain ribbon, then you would have to have a big fork like, like this one. Okay, but we'll do this. I'll show it to you on the, on the smaller dinner fork. All right, you've cut your piece 8 inches long. And we are now going to take it and we're going to bend it to the back in just a minute. And there are going to be two piece, two parts to this. You need to have the smaller part um, on the top and the longer part in the back. Let me show you. Okay, here's your fork. You grab your ribbon about halfway up of the fork. You place the shorter end in the front. Now leave enough of the short end because we need to tie it, okay? So it needs to be enough, but definitely the longer piece is on the back. Then you go over the short piece. Can you see this? And you come through in the middle of the fork, bring it through, and come back through the top over the bona. See that? Okay. Now I'm going to tie it and I'm going to use a pillow. Hold on a minute. I'm going to use a pillow so that you can really see what I'm doing. Um, okay, so now I'm going to take this down here. And I'm going to tie those two pieces of ribbon together. And pull really tight. Just one time and you see you already you can see the little bow shape there take it off your fork you have the two ends you can fiddle with them a little bit so you have them just the way you want them to be and then you take your scissors and trim it to just the right length for whatever project you have in mind and there you are. Your teeny bow is done. You like it? Okay, I'm going to show you one more time, okay? Um, here is the smaller size. We're going to do it again. I'm going to use the fork. The smaller end is where? On the top. Okay, good. All right. We are going over that smaller end, underneath the smaller one, through the middle. And then you are going to come back through the middle and you're going to tie it. There's your bow. Trim it. And take it off and you have a cute little bow. 
Need me to do it one more time? Let's see if I have another piece of ribbon left. Here's one. Okay, one more time. All right. From you have the the front of the fork facing you. You have the short piece of ribbon on the top, long piece in the back. You come over the short piece and then under the short piece through the fork center. Okay. Okay, short, longer, coming back through the fork center and you grab the short piece and together with the longer piece and really make it really tight. You can even shape it now a little bit and then take it off the fork and there you are. Trim it to whatever length you want it to be. Okay? Let me know if this was helpful. And I wish you all a lot of fun with your projects using these little bows.